Hello, my name is Dr. Roham Zamanian. I'm an Associate Professor of Medicine and the Director of the Stanford Adult Pulmonary Hypertension Program. I want to talk to you today about a very important procedure for patients with pulmonary hypertension called right heart catheterization. Right heart catheterization is a diagnostic procedure used to measure pulmonary artery pressures and thus evaluate whether a patient has pulmonary hypertension or not, and sometimes what is causing the pulmonary hypertension. Right heart catheterization is typically an outpatient same-day procedure performed in the cardiac catheterization laboratory, which does not require hospitalization, meaning patients come to the hospital, have the procedure done, and go home after a brief recovery period. One of the most important facts about right heart catheterization is that it is the gold standard for diagnosing pulmonary hypertension. It's important for patients to understand that without a right heart catheterization, physicians cannot and typically should not prescribe pH-specific therapies. After an appointment is set for right heart catheterization, patients will receive instructions on how to prepare for the procedure. Patients usually need to be NPO, meaning fasting, so that they have an empty stomach, for approximately six hours prior to the procedure. Your physician will instruct you on what to do with your usual medication during this period, especially blood thinners. Once patients arrive to the procedure area, they'll have some blood work done and consented for the procedure. The consenting process is one which the physician or the physician assistant will describe the risks and benefits of the procedure and obtain permission for the procedure. Right heart catheterization is safe when done at centers with expertise in pulmonary hypertension. The exact risks and benefits of the procedure are based on each individual's medical condition, but often the benefits outweigh the risks of the procedure. Once consent is obtained, patients are brought into the catheterization room and draped and prepped so that the procedure can be done in a sterile manner. The expert physician will then place an intravenous line in either the neck or the groin vein and then insert a long catheter which will be used to make measurements. This cardiac catheter will have a balloon at the tip which will be inflated by the physician, allowing for the catheter tip to float through the right heart and into the lungs. At specific locations in the body, the physician will make pressure measurements and obtain blood samples. These measurements will allow for the physician to compare to normal numbers and decide whether a patient has pulmonary hypertension and sometimes decide on what is causing it. Blood oxygen measurements at different places in the heart and in the lung can also allow the physician to diagnose congenital heart diseases. After making baseline measurements, sometimes physicians need to perform different diagnostic maneuvers, also known as provocative testing. There are a variety of provocative testing options. Most commonly, patients will receive an inhaled or intravenous medication to test how much the pulmonary artery can relax in response to blood vessel dilators. This is called a vasoreactivity challenge, and it's the most common type of provocative testing. Other tests include exercise challenge to see if a patient will develop pH with exercise, and fluid challenge to see if the blood volume worsens pressures and left heart function. Finally, if a physician is concerned about blood clots or abnormal vascular connection, a pulmonary angiogram, also known as pulmonary angiography, is performed. By injecting contrast into the vessels, the physician can take a movie of the contrast flowing through the pulmonary arteries and decide if there are any abnormalities. In some patients, because the physician may be worried about left heart function or coronary artery disease, a left heart catheterization will be performed at the same time. Left heart catheterization is similar to the procedure of right heart catheterization with the major exception that the IV is placed in an artery 
instead of a vein, and the catheter is sent into the aorta and eventually to the left heart. Most right heart catheterizations take about 30 or 45 minutes to complete, a bit longer if left heart catheterization or pulmonary angiography needs to be completed. After a complete cardiac catheterization, right plus or minus left, the physician will provide initial findings to the patient and the family. At Stanford, we mandate that all patients come back within one to two weeks of the procedure to hear the complete results and to make therapeutic decisions. The immediate recovery from a right heart catheterization is about three to four hours. Because patients receive conscious sedation, light or low dose medications for pain and anxiety, we do not permit driving for 24 hours. The care of the site of surgery is specific to each individual patient and care plans are provided at the time of checkout. We encourage our patients to contact the on-call doctor if there are any complications or concerns which arise after discharge. At Stanford, our patients receive a follow-up phone call from a nurse the day after their procedure. As mentioned in the introduction, a baseline right heart catheterization is mandatory for the diagnosis of PH, and specifically PAH. However, there is variability in the practice of performing follow-up right heart catheterizations. At Stanford, we believe that right heart catheterization is very important and we usually recommend reevaluation every 18 to 24 months, except if there is concern for progression of disease, in which case we recommend immediate follow-up right heart catheterization. So let's review the important points about right heart catheterization. Right heart catheterization is the gold standard for diagnosing pulmonary hypertension, and it allows us to measure exact pressures in the lung and calculate heart function. Right heart catheterization is safe when done at centers with expertise in pulmonary hypertension, and most right heart catheterizations take about 30 to 45 minutes to complete, but a little bit longer if a left heart catheterization or pulmonary angiography needs to be performed. Thank you.